Hi there, my sister. I'm so glad that you made it to this video. Today I have something very special for you in store. This is my manifestation pad. It's my bed and I love sitting here and my pillows where I can just lean back and, and dream and daydream. And behind me you can see a um, picture I made. Kind of, I love making pictures that have the energy of what I'm actually manifesting. So for those of you that don't know me, my name is Carolyn Hauser. I'm the author of Blossom, Your 7-Step Journey to Healing Childhood Sexual Abuse and Creating Your Dream Life. And today I want to explore and talk about the connection between sexuality and money. The reason why I want to make this little video is that I gave a talk on Friday at a little bookstore here in Santa Barbara where I live. And people were surprised that I was talking about money. Um, they came because they had seen the title of my book. And on at first glance, they didn't see the connection. And my purpose and what I love doing is helping women get into their power so that they can actually be truly empowered and live the life that they came to live. Be free to express all of who they are and really claim the dream life. And oftentimes when other teachers or, you know, books talk about this is often about things like people help you manifest the dream car or you know the watch or whatever it is and in my own life actually I have realized that my deepest desire is to have a life that is filled with pleasure and fulfillment that comes it comes from material having material things too but it also comes from just having a really deep sensual connection to life. And so what I've also learned and also know from my own experience that when someone has experienced sexual trauma, we usually cut ourselves off from having desires at all. And the reason why that is, and this is actually a huge taboo and I want to break that taboo for you today and really help you set yourself free and allow yourself to have desires and feelings is that I know from my own experience that when my sexual abuse happened, my physical body actually was turned on. And so from that moment on, because it was so wrong, you know, there was, it was actually my mom's boyfriend and was, I knew it was so wrong. Um, I decided to just completely shut myself off from feeling any desires down there. And so the effect it had on my life is that I felt very empty, I felt unhappy, I felt very unfulfilled and in general just um, no fun in life. Just a lot was missing. And so for me it was just a huge relief or a huge learning first of all to find out that this happened to a lot of other women too. And then to just give myself permission to say, okay, you know, this is what happened in that moment. And there's, you know, there's like, it wasn't my fault. There's nothing about my body is wrong. There's nothing about me that's wrong that that happened. And so my, my, my own journey has been about really reclaiming my desires and starting to daydream about what that life looks like, where I am completely fulfilled physically and for a lot of us this can be very scary because we might not be in a relationship right now or we might be in a relationship where that's completely missing and and we don't even want to go there because it's so painful so I'm sharing this with you today because I want to invite you to start exploring pleasure and what it means for you and how much you're allowing in your in your everyday experience and how much you're not allowing and I also want to free you from this taboo that if you know you have you have been sexually abused and some part of you has experienced pleasure to allow yourself to have that be okay say okay you know my body experienced that and there's no reason why now as a grown woman I shouldn't be allowed to have these feelings again and um, I would be really interested about, you know, your discoveries and hearing your stories. 
I also want to encourage you to start looking about looking into what you're really believing about money. I know for myself, I've been believing that I need a man for money. And so on this exploration journey on, you know, um, pleasure, pleasure is connected to a man, of course. I also realized that my true soul, what I really want is to be with a man for fun. I don't want to be with a man because I, I need the money or I need him to make me feel like I can make money. And actually in my own marriage, how I found out about this belief was that whenever I started making money, I behaved like I didn't need a man anymore and it created a lot of conflict. And so then I started realizing that the reason why I'm behaving that way was because I have this belief that you just, you need a guy to survive. You need the guy for the money. And so of course we didn't have any fun, you know? So I'm at a place in my life where I'm allowing myself to have a man just for fun and also where I'm at a place where I know that the more I can open all my senses, be sensual and have these desires and allow them to be fulfilled, the more money can come in. Because honestly, there never is a money problem. The only problem that we have is that we're not receiving, we're not open, we're not trusting. And so the journey to making big money and really being prosperous is directly linked to healing the sexual trauma. Like I said, the more you can open, the more you can trust, the more you can relax into your true feminine nature, the more beauty and the money and the support comes to you because you're in alignment with who you truly are. So thank you for letting me share this with you. It really came from my heart and I really needed you to hear this today and I needed to hear it again. So just know that whenever you know I speak, I speak for myself as much as I speak for you. So thank you so much for listening. And um, if you'd like to find out more about me and my work, you can check the link on the box to the site and um, get more information. My love to you. Bye.